2 Corinthians 3 1-18 The Ministry of Moses and the Ministry of Christ Ministry of Salvation Ministry of Condemnation Shall we begin to praise ourselves again? Or do we need, as some do, letters of recommendation for you, or of recommendation from you? You are our letter, written in our hearts, known and read by all men. For it is already manifest that you are the letter of Christ, ministered by us, and written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tables of stone, but on the tables of the flesh of the heart. And it is through Christ that we have such confidence in God. Not that we are able, for ourselves, to think of anything, as of ourselves, but our ability comes from God, which made us also able to be ministers of a New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, because the letter kills and the Spirit gives life. And if the ministry of death, engraved with letters on stones, came in glory, so that the children of Israel could not look into the face of Moses because of the glory of his face, which was transitory, how can the ministry of the Spirit be no greater glory? For if the ministry of condemnation was glorious, much more shall the glory of the ministry of righteousness exceed. For also that which was glorified in this part was not glorified, because of this excellent glory. For if that which was transient was for glory, much more is that which abideth in glory. Having thus such hope, we use much boldness in speaking. And we are not like Moses, who put a veil over his face, so that the children of Israel would not look firmly to the end of that which was transitory. But his senses were hardened, for to this day the same veil is yet to be raised in the lesson of the Old Testament, which was abolished by Christ. And to this day, when Moses is read, the veil is set over their hearts. But when they turn to the Lord, then the veil will be taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. But all of us, with unveiled face, reflecting as a mirror the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, as by the Spirit of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3 1-18 Second Epistle of Paul to the Corinthians, Chapter 3, Verse 1-18 to Dear brothers, we are studying Paul's letter to the Second Corinthians, Chapter 3. We are considering this study, as something totally important in the understanding, of the stages, in God's design, for the salvation of man. This understanding, when Paul says in verse 3, For it is already manifested that you are the letter of Christ, ministered by us and written, not with ink, but with the Spirit of God living, not in stone tables, but in the heart tables. Paul speaks in verse 6, that God made us ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter kill it, and the Spirit quicken it. He is saying that, the ministry of death was engraved with letters on stones. Why ministry of death? Because the law, it only condemned, and this condemnation fatally brought death, but we are living in the ministry of glory. He asks, how shall the ministry of the Spirit be greater glory? For the ministry of death was received by Moses as the glory. For when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, his face shone so brightly that the children of Israel could not look at him. So Moses had to put a veil on his face, so that that brightness did not dazzle the eyes of the people. And in verse 9, Paul speaks of this ministry of condemnation, which was glorious. Much more will exceed in glory the ministry of righteousness, which is the ministry of Christ. In verse 14, Paul says it to this day the Jews wear a veil, because they were still connected with the orientations of the Old Testament, which was abolished by Christ. In verse 15 and 16, Paul says that even to this day, when the Jews read about Moses, they put a veil on his head. In verse 16 he says, but when they shall convert the Lord, then the veil shall throw. In verse 17, the Lord is Spirit, and there is the Spirit of the Lord, there is freedom. Amen.